Good morning, everybody. This is your check-in for Monday morning, June 29th. Man, June is almost at an end. It's so hard to believe. It just is flying through right now. Today, the scripture that I, I shared with you talks about that all scripture is, is God-breathed, meaning every every scripture in that Bible comes, comes out of God and, and out of what he has said and what he has done and what he has shown us and in today's world, we need to lean on that. We need to rely on that. At Bible school, we're talking about the armor of God. And last week, um, you know, I already talked to you about those stories, but they talked about the belt of truth. And the belt of truth in the armor of God is wrapped around your waist so it is close to you. It puts the truth of God's word right there with you. And that is so important. You know, I don't know about you, but just reflecting on, on where we've come from, where we are, and where we're going is, is unbelievable. You know, in March, before everything happened, we all had plans. You know, I know the youth group, we had plans to travel this summer. There were so many different things that we were going to do. I can say that in my personal life, and I bet you can too. But, you know, the truth is that we've had to rely on God and God's Word and our Bible more than any other time that I can recall. And due to that, we've been successful. And when I say successful, I mean, you know, God has allowed us to keep moving forward. Who would have thought that when we started talking about calling a full-time co-pastor, that we would be in this situation where we're trying to figure out, you know, how do we get him here? What do we do? And look, it's working. It's because we have relied on God's truth. You know, one of the other truths is, is this is a hard time. It's a hard time because as people are starting to get out more, there are many people that just can't. They can't get out because of their health, because of their age, just because they don't feel safe. And those are all valid 100% reasons for not leaving your home and, and continuing to shelter in place. So as we continue as a church moving forward, I just want you to know that we take God's word seriously and we know that, that God loves every one of us and we love each of you. And as we're moving forward here, we're relying on our, our word of God and to reach out and, and to remind our congregation that, that we got this, that whether it's in your personal life, if it's welcoming Pastor Nate or just figuring out what you're going to do the next day, that God is totally guiding us. You know, I was so excited when we started to share our mission statement again, and there were some some key words that just keep jumping out at me, and they jumped out when we wrote it, and they jump out even today. You know, we are responsible for these for our individuals and families in this church, as as pastors, as leaders, as a congregation. So we need to to look around and and be aware of who needs what and how we can take care of them, even as we're we're getting a little busier in our world. And and we know that because that's what God said. That's what Jesus did. Jesus, sorry, Jesus, just didn't talk to the people who came in front of him. He talked to the people. Talked to Zacchaeus who was up in the tree. He talked to the people that were homesick. He made a point. To do this. It's in our Bible. It is God breathed. You know, the other part of our mission statement is that we we work on that promise and the power of God's love. And we don't get that promise and that power without studying God's word and without really working to remember that he created each of us in our own way, but in his image. And we're charged with taking those God-breathed words, putting them in our hearts and our minds, and, and just continuing to serve him in whatever way possible. I hope this is an awesome start to your Monday. Look out my window. You can see the, the butterfly bush blooming. It's beautiful. And I just look forward to talking with you soon. God bless.